Hello, here is another multimedia video tutorial by Aroha Media. Today we are going to take a look at creating property change sliders for a movie clip. You just click and drag the mouse over the slider and the object changes its set properties. So, let's see how to create this using ActionScript 3.0. We will start with a new flash document. The very first thing we need is the object. Draw a circle and delete its outline. Press F8 to convert it into a movie clip named Object. Move its registration point to the exact center. This is the object whose properties are planned to change. So, give an instance name object underscore MC. Also, name its layer as object. Next thing that will appear on stage is the slider. This slider will control the properties of the object. So, we name its layer control. The controller movie clip will be created with the line and rectangle tools. The line will be the controller's track and rectangle will be its knob. So, firstly draw a line, keep its width fixed to 100 pixels. Convert that line into a movie clip, keeping the registration point at center left. Name it Control. This is supposed to complete the controller inside which the track and knob will be found. Step inside it and convert that line into a new movie clip called Line. Make sure its registration point should also be at center left. This line's width is to be used in the action script. So, give it an instance name as line underscore MC and also name its layer as line. Similarly, on another layer, let's create the slider's knob. Draw a rectangle.
enter. The knob stops when the mouse is up. Similarly, dragging should stop when the mouse is rolled out of the knob. to test the movie. Currently, the knob's X position is 0. That is why the object's alpha value is also 0. And so, it's not visible. Start dragging the knob and see. The object varies its alpha value depending on the knob's position. The object is completely visible when the knob's position is on the highest and the object completely hides when the knob comes fully down. You can say we are ready with the object's alpha property slider. Similarly, we can add one more slider which will move the object on its y-axis depending on the knob's x position. For that, we need one more slider. Make a copy of the earlier slider and modify its label to position y. Even modify the new slider's instance name to position Y underscore MC. Press F9 on the action layer to get the action panel. Already we have the object Y position decided here. We even have the alpha's complete script here, which will be similar to the new slider script as well. So, at first, we will name the ready action as alpha and above that, store the object's existing Y position in a variable. And now, let's start with the new position Y action script below. Similarly, to the alpha controller's knob functions and the event listeners to start and stop drag on the slider, we are ready with the position Y controller's knob functions and mouse up, mouse down, 
mouse out event listeners to start and stop the drag of the knob on its relative slider. Let's see the output of this. The alpha's knob was already moving on the track. Position Y's knob is also sliding on its track correctly. Now, only the action script to move the object on its Y position remains. Open the action panel. The object's Y position will depend on the knob's X position on the slider. This will take place on the call of the knob's on event frame event. So, let's first add a function for this. Firstly, increase the object's alpha to make it appear and now along with the position Y knob, the object is moving on its Y axis. We have deducted the knob's X value from the object's existing position. Similarly, we can even add that value. Increase the alpha value and see the difference now. Earlier, the object was moving upwards while the knob was moving on the higher side. But this time, the object is moving downwards. This difference was created by adding and subtracting the knob's X value from the object's Y position. Similarly, you can add some more property sliders here and create your own controls. You must have noticed that a single change in the action script gives you a different output. We are sure this was a useful tutorial brought to you by Aroha Media. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep watching and keep exploring.